let's take a look here at neural networks and deep learning first defining what are neural networks so these are often described as mimicking the brain you have a neuron or node that represents an algorithm the data is inputted into the neuron and based on the output the data will be passed to one of the many connected neurals the connections between neurons is weighted the network is organized into layers there will be an input layer multiple hidden layers and an output layer you could technically have one hidden layer but often you have multiple layers and you have three or more now we're talking about deep learning if you have less than three then it's just a neural network um, and just look at the visual for you here for a moment because each node or uh, neural remember that it has its own um its own algorithm like how it's going to process that data and i'm pretty certain that most neural networks are the the algorithm is going to be same for all the nodes but we'll talk about that as we uh, dig deeper into the neurons themselves um but then there's the concept of a feed forward neural network which is initializes fnn i don't know why it's not ffnn but whatever so these are neural networks where connections between nodes do not form a cycle that means that they always move forward so data moves forward okay we don't have neural networks going back and this way and that way they're just going one direction which is forward then you have back propagation this is where after um things ran into like everything ran through it's going to move backwards through the neural network and adjust the weights okay to improve the outcome on the next iteration so after it's ran it actually has to update all the weights and that is back propagation this is how a neural network learns it has to do back propagation okay then we have uh, a loss function so it's a function that compares the ground truth to the prediction to determine the error rate so how bad the network performed ground truth right is data that is labeled that you know to be correct okay now we're talking about how these neurons are going to have their own algorithm right because up here we say that uh, it represents an algorithm so this is where we have these um, algorithms which you call activation functions so an activation function is an algorithm applied to a hidden layer node it's one of these things right here let me just get my pen out again one of these that affects the connected output and so example of that would be r-e-l-u or relu i don't know how to pronounce it properly but i recognize it uh, but we will be looking at activation functions when we look at neurons a bit uh, 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 a bit soon here um, there's the concept of dense so when the network layer increases the amount of nodes we call it more dense uh, and when the layers decrease the the amount of nodes we call it sparse okay so when we see increase it's dense if it's decreasing it's sparse um, and for deep learning algorithms we have supervised and unsupervised just like with classical machine learning um, and so on the supervised side we're going to see things like uh, fnn rnn cnn so you are passing in labeled data for this to work for unsupervised learning we have uh dbns saes rbms's and not important to really remember this but i just wanted you to know that they have supervised and unsupervised learning um uh, for for deep learning okay uh 